Why is it that at a bachelor's establishment, the servants invariably drink the champagne? I ask merely for information. I attribute it to the superior quality of the wine, sir. I've often observed that in married households, the champagne is rarely of a first-rate brand. Good heavens! You have always told me it was Ernest. I have introduced you to everyone as Ernest. You answer to the name of Ernest. You look as if your name is Ernest. You are the most Ernest-looking person I ever saw in my life. It's perfectly absurd. You're saying that your name isn't Ernest. Well, my name is Ernest in town and Jack in the country, and the cigarette case was given to me in the country. Yes, but that does not account for the fact that your small Aunt Cecily, who lives at Tunbridge Wells, calls you her dear uncle. And my ideal has always been to love someone of the name of Ernest. Oh, there is something in that name that inspires absolute confidence. It is a divine name. It has a music of its own. It produces vibrations. Oh, you must not laugh at me, darling, but it had always been a girlish dream of mine to love someone whose name was Ernest. There is something in that name that seems to inspire absolute confidence. This is the box in which I keep all your dear letters. My letters? But my own sweet Cecily, I have never written you any letters. You need hardly remind me of that, Ernest. Well, uh, may I propose to you now? I think it would be an admirable opportunity. <laughs> and to spare you any possible disappointment, Mr. Worthing, I think it only fair to tell you quite frankly beforehand, that I am thoroughly determined to accept you. Gwendolyn! Yes, Mr. Worthing, what have you got to say to me? You know what I've got to say to you? Yes, but you don't say it. Gwendolyn! Today, I broke off my engagement with Ernest. I feel it is better to do so. The weather still continues charming. But why on earth did you break it off? What had I done? I had done nothing at all. Cecily! I am very much hurt indeed to hear you broke it off, particularly when the weather was so charming. Mr. Ernest Worthing and I are engaged to be married! <laughs> My darling Cecily, I think there must be some slight error. Mr. Ernest Worthing is engaged to me. Your brother Ernest dead? Quite dead. What a lesson for him. I trust he will profit by it. I don't think there is much likelihood, Jack, of you and Miss Fairfax being united. Well, that is no business of yours. If it was my business, I wouldn't talk about it. It is very vulgar to talk about one's business. I am sick to death of cleverness. Everybody is clever nowadays. You can't go anywhere without meeting clever people. The thing has become an absolute public nuisance. I wish to goodness we had a few fools left. We have. I should extremely like to meet them. What do they talk about? The fools? Oh, the clever people, of course. What fools? 